Everyone craves a good love story, and on this Valentine's Day, we have one that endures time. It's a story that starts almost 79 years ago at the University of Minnesota. Bob Thorstensen of Red Wing and Marion Duggan of St. Paul, they met as students, and the relationship, and it soon blossomed. And all these years later, it's told in letters and bound by love. I just love you. Letter after letter. My heart is back there with you, my Marion. The love is timeless. With all my love and devotion, Marion dear, your husband, Bob. Bob Thorstensen and Marion Duggan were young Shakespeare's in love. Robert and Marion met when they were both students at the University of Minnesota. And uh, when they graduated, they stayed in contact. The year was 1941. Bob joined the Naval Reserves. The Navy sent him to Coronado Island in San Diego. Marion eventually followed. They were married. And they were planning their lives when history got in the way. Here is the actual bombing of the mighty USS Arizona. Bob's letters to his new wife could not hide the gravity of the new war. We've known it was coming, of course. That's what we're here for. But now more than ever, it can be clearly seen that we have a job to do. Each of us has a job to do. Bob was assigned as a communications officer to the USS Wright. It was a seaplane tender sailing with the Pacific Fleet. But no ocean could stop the letters. Beloved, even if there's nothing more to tell me than I love you, tell me for I want to hear it. According to my private accounting methods, I owe you 4,627 kisses. By the time I return, the figure should be ast astronomical, but I shall be prepared to begin paying all at once. They all read like sonnets. It's a love story. Their letters back and forth are incredibly endearing and romantic, but also informative, and in that he is sharing stories of his experience during the war, um, and she's reporting back on life in Minnesota. Which is exactly what makes this an exceptional gift to the Minnesota Historical Society. The more than 200 letters document two sides of a conversation waiting for history to bring them back together. The surrender documents by which Japan agrees to lay down arms completely. Darling, this is the letter I've waited 15 months to write, and you have waited as long to read. I am coming home. They're all letters of hope. There's never any ifs in the letters. There's never any what if. Um, it's always when. When you get home, when you are back, when we're together again. Bob and Marion were married for 65 years. They settled in New York State where they raised their children and appropriately became English teachers. Bob passed in 2008, Marion in 2014. But their love letters endure all long-distance dedications across the ages. Good night to you, my darling one. Good night, good night, good night, your loving husband, Bob. What incredible gifts. Bob and Marion's children this week finalized the donation of all of their parents' letters to the Minnesota Historical Society. The History Center is cataloging all of them and they're going to be available for viewing by students and scholars at the Gale Family Library coming up this spring. Oh my gosh, what a great story, Isn't that Tim. wonder? Oh, we just, oh, it just is, you know, Kate, the curator at the Historical Society said, it's just so rich. Yeah. It's just so rich because it provides both sides of the conversation to know what was going on at sea, what was going on back home, how they were dealing with it, how to navigate it all. It was... Um, it's just incredible. It and to really is. Read and those letters and just to see it just pouring out of the pages. And it's so fitting. It just makes sense that they both became English teachers. I know, right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Bob went on to become a, um, an English professor at SUNY, what we now know as SUNY in wow. Albany, New York. Yeah, State University of New York. Definitely, what a gift. We'll have to check yeah. that out. Yeah, definitely. Well, that story <laughs> definitely warming me, a lot of hearts tonight. Let me wipe my tears real quick. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> That was a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that needs to be a movie. Just yeah. throwing that out there. Yeah, no, that, that was a beautiful story and warming our hearts. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> I see what you're doing here.